Billy's on a hot streak in Brussels, when out of the blue, he gets a call from Marc Delorme, an art dealer in Paris. Hey, how are you? Billy, I just heard that the key needs to be auctioned here in Paris. Holy fuck. Yes, yeah, there is a lot of interest in it. You're, you're very good friends. This trip just got a lot more interesting. I'm really excited because I'm hoping this guillotine is authentic. There has not been one auctioned for 22 years. The guillotine was invented in 1792 as a painless and humane execution device, just in time for the French Revolution. It remained the official tool of execution in France until the death penalty was abolished in 1981. The last one sold for about the equivalent of 50,000 euros, about $75,000. Billy just has to see it. It is treasure hunting. And in the blink of an eye, he and Jessica are on the next train to Paris. Billy Jameson is in Paris for the once-in-a-lifetime sale of a guillotine. It's supposed to be an 18th or 19th century guillotine, and I'm hoping it's real. He can't wait to see it and heads straight for the auction house. The auction is still two days away, but the exhibit hall is packed. Billy isn't the only dealer who wants to buy this relic. There's a huge amount of interest in this. You can see, you know, the history of France. Everyone thinks France the guillotine. The question is, how many of these people coming to see this are not coming to see it as a curiosity or serious bidders? Yeah, I'm trying to just try to decide if it's authentic or not. And I'm sure they made some, there was all different types, right? This one is different? Yeah. Maybe this one is older? No? Well, I don't know. As he takes a closer look, Billy starts to worry. There's things about it I like, and there's things about it I don't like. The problem here is there's not much drop between the blade and where your head is, so it might not get up enough speed to take your head off. It's a big disappointment. I have to say that my confidence level of being a real guillotine is gone. Billy's wanted to buy a guillotine for years, but he wants the real deal. To confirm his suspicions, he meets Xavier Dufestel, the dealer selling the guillotine. The thing which is very interesting is the only example of a guillotine made for the military campaign. That's the reason why the it's... aspect is very unusual. This guillotine has a peculiar design because it was built to be mobile. A normal guillotine blade drops four and a half meters. This one drops just two and a half meters, but it was still effective. Records suggest it executed over 1,400 people. Because this guillotine was, uh, was made for the military campaign, so it was erected very quickly. To take away. Move. Yes. Billy loves the dark side of history, but he's not convinced that this guillotine has any blood on it. Even Olivier Dubocage, the auctioneer, isn't sure it's genuine. It's hard to know. Yeah, I speak to the Ministry of, uh, of Justice for French government. It's not all authentic. So much for originality. The French Ministry of Justice itself can't confirm that it's real. It possibly is made up with some piece, other pieces. Some pieces are not authentic. Things aren't right. It's kind of buyer beware. Billy needs a break. He decides to put this deal on hold and head for the flea market. I love to scour the flea markets, and I always find something. I never leave here empty-handed. Billy still has sharp blades and severed heads on his mind. I am looking for an antique samurai sword, and I thought we might put a small collection together. And he knows just where to go. How are you doing? How, do How are you, my friend? Oh, fine. Everything's fine. It's Jill Grimm is a well-known collector and dealer. I think he is the guy in Europe for samurai swords. The samurai sword first appeared in 12th century Japan when blacksmiths learned how to transform iron into hardened steel. Forged for maximum sharpness and durability, the samurai sword was both a deadly weapon and a work of art. It's a very, very strong blade. It's for fighting. Turn this. Only one. Oh, it's not? Oh, no. Never touch with hand. This one can cut one people in two parts. Really? From ear to ear, I guarantee. Well, don't do that. 
Yeah. <laughs> this one is a 16th century, but it's copied for 12th century. Go inside here, slowly. Every blade are different. Yeah. You cannot find two blades same. And how much is this? 35,000 baht. Yolo. <laughs> okay. That's $50,000 and a little rich, even for Billy. Hey, how's this one? Now, this one is signed, I noticed. This eh? one is signed. Do you know the name? Do you know the Yinobu. name? Yinobu. Yinobu in Japanese. Yinobu was in the 1620s. Billy's finally found one that's more in his price range. This is it. As soon as you pick this up, could you do 7,500 euros on this one? For me? No? 8,000. There's a sword over there. Would you take 10,000 and sell me this and this for 10,000? Because this will be a relationship we will be starting. Because now I will go learn. Okay, for you, 10,000 for the two. Once again, Billy's cut a killer deal. Back at the hotel, he isn't enjoying the view. He's just received some emails that confirm his suspicions about the guillotine. Madam Talbot just sent me an email with a picture of what looks like this guillotine in a bar. It's a jazz bar. Is it the same? Yeah, look, it's got the bar in the same place. Oh, yeah, and you can see the Republic at the top. It looks like the same guillotine, but some parts are different. This sign is not on it in the bar. Are you sure? Positive, it's not there. What we're seeing in the bar is not the complete guillotine. So it appears some material has been added to it. The guillotine has been tampered with, and it gets worse. Is this from another guillotine? Yeah, this is from expert? a fellow online that builds model guillotines. This expert believes it's a fake. The guillotine is not a typical 1792 to 1800 construction. In my opinion, it's a very ugly reproduction built around the 1900s. Billy can only make one conclusion. I think this is a reproduction probably only good for slicing and dicing vegetables. This relic is a royal ripoff.